Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you a quick way, uh, well it's not real quick I guess, but it, it gives you a cheat sheet of how your nodes are set up um, and LXC containers is pretty much what we're talking about here. Uh, it, it will show you how all the LXC containers are configured, what their IPs are, uh, what machines they're on. It just gives you a better idea of how this thing gets laid out during the install. Uh, it can be handy sometimes, especially since we're dealing with just IP addresses and not DNS names. Uh, this can give you a quick sheet to go look at and uh, it's just good to take notes of the environment anyway. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to map out IPs of all these nodes and the containers underneath it. So if you remember when we went back to the landscape to see so it makes a little more sense if you go to computers, it says we have 15 computers available. Well, this is a, you know, currently, actually, there's only five nodes functioning within Landscape because the sixth node is uh, is the external uh, Juju environment that was spun up during the install, and the seventh one is Maz. So we have 15 machines running on these nodes. So, but it, it gives you no idea of where they are if you click on one it gives you the hardware information but it just gives you this these IPs that don't make much sense because they're virtual uh, for that LXC container so where are these nodes now you can go into Juju and kinda get an idea like let's take a look at the external Juju environment you can kinda if you go to machines you can kinda get an idea of what's on what machine but they still show a lot of LXC containers uh, so it's still hard to figure out but it's relatively easy to go through the command line and map out these nodes I found this helpful hopefully you will too so let's just give it a shot let's go to Maz uh, and we'll just start with the top node so this is node 2 780 in Maz let's copy that and his IP is this uh, that 154 so let's just make a note of that here in Notepad++ so you can use whatever you like. So Maz node is 10.1.1.154 and let's go to Maz which is the command line here and let's SSH into that IP Okay, so we're in there, and we're going to use sudo, but we're going to list dash f, lxc dash ls dash f, the lxc containers that are on this node. So there's only two on this node, so it's pretty simple, but now we know what their IP addresses are, so we can go back and look them up. So this net, let's just take this, we'll screenshot and paste it right here. So again, let's go look at another MAS node. This one is 1.155. Let's take his name. Let's go log into him. Let's log out of this one. And we'll display these containers. And there's only two. but you can you get these IP addresses so you kinda get the gist of where we're going here some of these will be more interesting than others so what are these nodes well you can you have to go to kind of a, a bunch of different screens to figure that out uh, let, like node 2 780 and 4 780 uh, let's go to the LAN, or the OpenStack GUI and take a look at oh let's see host aggregates uh, so here, 2.780 and 4.780, those are host aggregates for using 
they're hypervisors. They're, they're what you're going to spin your VMs off of. So you, they're not going to have a lot of LXC containers underneath them. Just what it takes to get the network set up and, and to get the configuration to allow you to uh, do that virtualization in between multiple nodes. So they're, they're compute nodes. They're, they're running Nova compute. So that, that just kind of gives you an idea. If you look through the screens long enough, you can find these guys. But now you know that these two nodes ha are these IPs, and there's these LXC containers running underneath them for redundancy. So I'm going to go through and uh, do this for all the MAS nodes. And uh, I'll fast forward through this, but just so you get the idea of what I'm doing. I'll be back. Okay, so we've mapped out all the nodes. Uh, you can see a couple of these, like this one here, node 1780 and node 3780 have containers on them that are both called machine zero. The reason for that is one of these is your external Juju environment, which, let's take a look at the GUI. So this is your small, your initial uh, Juju environment that landscape, the autopilot installer puts together. Uh, let's see, what's the easiest way to confirm that? So right here, you can see that it spun up landscape on 110. Let's go back to your cheat sheet. 110 is down here. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's take a look at external. Take a look at the dashboard. It's on 121. Let's take a look at your cheat sheet. 121 is on node 4. It's installed right there on that container. Let's take a look at oh, cloud controller. He's on 127. He's on this node. So this gives you an idea of what's installed where. Uh, this initial node here, this is the one that was spun up. You, you, you can tell kind of by the, the IP address number, which one he used first. Uh, 151 was the one he spun up initially for the install. And you can take a look at some of these IP addresses. But take a look at um, the external GUI. He is actually setting on 151 on the actual node. He doesn't. He's not in a container. <clears throat> and then you take a look at the internal GUI. He's setting on. So we got 151. He spun him up on 152. He's not setting in a container. So the Juju environments are actually setting on the hardware. And then underneath those, all of these charms are being installed. Uh, some of them, like Juju GUI, for instance, lives next to uh, the the actual Juju environment where it was bootstrapped. And all of this will coincide this this sheet. And taking a look at let's exit out of this. It will go with your Juju status. So this is the external Juju. But you can go through these the same IPs here, and you can match them up with the nodes in the cheat sheet. I don't know. I, I just thought it was 
a little easier to tell than to go to five different places. Uh, it's also, if there's something you're specifically working on, uh, to tell, to go in here and say, and put a note out to the side, yeah, this is GG external, or this is, this is whatever service that IP is. So, let's see, do we have all of them? One, four, five, six, that's them. So th that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show you how I mapped out and kind of noted where everything was. Hopefully you find it helpful. Uh, it gives you a little better idea and a little more experience with the LXC containers. Uh, that's all I have to show you for now. Thanks.